Can you name a single example in the last 20 years where blacks were discriminated on Moss, where they've been put aside? Can you give me a specific example? You can simply talk about police brutality and okay, so over wait. Incar mass incarceration. What percentage of murders do black Americans commit in America? So there you have a point of there is over policing in black communities. Wait, no, no, murders. Lower income communities. So wait, blacks commit murders because of police? I'm not talking about murders of police. You're twisting my words. So why do blacks you know commit so many murders? They don't. So they're 13% of the population and they do 55% of the murders in America. So why? There, you're not even What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back here into a new video. Today we're going to check notes. Today triggered by my American Lives Matter. <clears throat> Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, let's check it out. Actually, I have a cold, so I, I think bear with me in this video. My voice might change or I might sneeze. So let's get right into this video. I noticed you're wearing an American Lives Matter yes. shirt. What is your message to this audience right now by wearing that t-shirt? What is your intended message? Um, well, I think that we should put Americans above foreigners. Um, you know that the whole point of you know the movement like that came with Lives Matter was originally for Black Lives yes, Matter. Yes, I, I, I'm intentionally appropriating it. Yeah. And are you trying to eliminate the movement Black Lives Matter? Are you trying to not bring attention to it? I mean, well, BLM is not exactly a, a movement that I would be associated with, but I believe all lives matter, American lives matter. If you're a Black American, Hispanic American, I don't care. So all, all Americans lives matter. Would you even would you take the time to recognize a group of people that who have been marginalized historically and who are now asking for the same rights, the same um, the same privileges as white people in the society by wearing what, by letting what rights them do white people have that black stone? So the issue is it's not necessarily in written in the law. Oh, but so it's it like hidden. That's the whole point. That's oh. how marginalizing works. Oh, so it's kind of like, it's like a ghost. You see it one day and you don't. And because you as a white privileged person with money Wait. have never so seen it what, doesn't mean it doesn't What privilege exist. do I as a white person have that a black person doesn't? What can a white person do in America that a black person cannot do? Be specific. Name one thing. So there are so many issues in our society. Name one thing. No, I got to drill you in. Name one thing a white person can do that a black person cannot do. So the issue is racism, okay? You can technically do it, but your life may be put at risk if you are found your, if you find yourself in certain areas where you might not be accepted by your race and then your life might be in So danger. okay, what is racism? There's can you define to me what racism is? Racism, well, I don't have the exact description as it is seen in like AP style or like Wikipedia. Can you just talk in the mic, please? I'm sorry, yeah. Sorry. Racism is the lack of opportunities because of a race, the kind of like putting a person to a side. Um, so can you name a single example in them? the last 20 years where blacks were discriminated on Moss, where they've been put aside? Can you give me a specific you example? You can simply talk about police brutality and okay, so over wait. Incar mass incarceration. What percentage of murders do black Americans commit in America? So there you have a point of there is over policing in black communities. Wait, no, no, murders. Lower I'm, income communities. So wait, blacks commit murders because of police? I'm not talking about murders of police. You're twisting my words. So why do blacks you know commit so many murders? They don't. So they're 13% of the population and they do 55% of the murders in America. So why? There, you're not even looking at the background of it. There is over policing in lower income communities. And There's that under policing in lower income communities. Number two, you're, you're trying to say that over policing, even if that existed, which it doesn't, leads to the fact that 13% of the U.S. population accounts for 55% of the murders? There is a target on people of color's backs, okay? So when a white person sees a person of color- Prove it. There is studies, there is research No, no, about give, me, give me one there's example. Give me one piece of evidence that there's a target on black people's back. In fact, I will submit to you there's the opposite. Black students can get into this college with lower test scores than white students. It's called affirmative action. So now white people are the people who are struggling? No, no, no. But are they no, the marginalized ones? I, I will go back to this, though. Can you name a specific example of what a black person cannot do that a white person can do? And be, again, specific. Anything. I'm talking about, there's, so racism as a whole is not written 
in the law because that's not allowed anymore. But it still exists. Then give me an example. There, I just told you. You said police brutality is your example. Why do you think blacks encounter police so much? They commit more crimes. There is and not just like a little bit more. Policing. No, there's un and there's also there's, there's under police. And how, how could you say such a thing? We have defunded the police in Philadelphia, New York, Chicago, and largely defunded it. We saw crime rates go up. I also want you to take in mind that when a whole group is t their opportunities to succeed economically. Let's say they don't get that higher paying job because they chose a white person instead of a black person. That makes Show me an, an example of where that happened recently. Wait, that makes an entire community more prone to being lower income. And then that create that is lower lower income communities are directly related to like more crime activity. So yeah, but let me ask you a question. What percentage of young blacks have both a mom and a dad raising them? I cannot think of a percentage right now to give you. 25%. So only one out of four blacks in America have a mom and a dad around. Do you think that is a bigger issue to address <laughs> than racism? Do you think more dads is a better solution or tackling racism, so, which you say you can't even see in our I, laws? How could dads be connected directly like how oh dads are very connected dads? very about, connected very okay when you have a dad about, around you're less likely to be violent as a male less likely to go to prison so explain to me why all the fathers are leaving exactly why are they leaving <laughs> question for you because why are black they women married so, the government and divorced the men that they were so once talk with about, talk about white people right now i'm sorry i'm I, i'm a realist people. not a racist why secondly <laughs> Talk See, you can you can come up to the mic and call me a racist to my face, or are you an intellectual coward and want to shout it from 30 feet away? This video was interesting. Um, Charles Cake actually got provoked at the end. Uh, he was pissed by the lady who was saying racist. He was pissed. He wants her to speak out. It's a great coward. Come to the mic and speak out if you have if if you are that brave. Come to the mic. Uh, it's it's actually interesting to watch. <clears throat> Spot on me. I have code. Um. The truth of the matter is black lives matter, black lives matter, the all American lives matter. Every single person lives matter. We all have this, um, we are try, treated bad um, years ago during slavery and stuff. Um, people are still carrying that narrative up to now to use the word of, they're, using, they're being victimized by their own self. They don't want to see the clear picture. And black people, some black people, I don't say black people in general, some black people still believe they are being treated badly not only black people latinos too believe that that are being treated badly in the society because of their skin color but that is wrong if you hide under the skin color you won't shine i keep on saying this you you should not put yourself in that shoe that is because of your skin things are not happening for you you should think beyond that and feel like with or without my skin yeah i am who i am i know who i am and i can achieve more you understand so you should not Put yourself down. I keep on saying this every time. It is not because of your skin color that make you not to get a job. It's not because of your skin color that make people treat you bad. It's out of your character, your attitude. People, you see this, when they come about Black Lives Matter, Black are being treated badly, you don't talk about the other things that the Black are doing wrongly. They only talk about what happens years ago that they were being enslaved and stuff. This, the society right now, you can't mention one thing that the white man is getting, the privilege the white man is getting, whereas the black man is not getting the same privilege. You can't mention one. You understand? So if you see all these people who are coming out to say um, black are not being treated well, Latinos are not being treated well um, because of white privilege, check the character. Just observe the character. They are always hiding behind the skin as because of their skin, number one. And number two, they have they are very rude and their attitude is bad. I'm telling you the truth. They're very rude and their attitude is bad. So we should stop hiding behind the skin and saying uh, it's because of our skin color that we're not being treated well or we're not having things coming to our... No. You have to go beyond. Do you, know, do you know some white people are feeling that they're not being treated well in, the, in, in America? Some white people are feeling like black are trying getting more privilege than them. That's the truth. People, people won't come and say it. Some white people feel that way. Every time black lives matter, black lives matter. The entire American lives matter. The entire people, everyone in the entire world lives matter. Not just their black lives. This was actually interesting to watch. Comment down below. Think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. 
I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all